Ready? Yep. Okay, uh, I'm Julia Solomon. I'm 20 years young. Um, okay, that was really dumb. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm Julia Solomon. I'm 20 years old. I'm a student at Columbia, and I have a part-time job at a bakery. Say it one more time. Uh, my name is Julia Solomon. Uh, my name is Julia Solomon. Say it one more time. I'm Julia Solomon. My name is Julia Solomon. My name is Julia Solomon. My name is Julia Solomon. Uh, and I'm also a stand-up comedian. <laughs>myself anything when I was younger I would tell myself to go out and do stand-up every night um, I didn't go out a lot when I first started doing stand-up because I it was my first year away from home and at college so I really tried to focus more on school and I wish that I had just gone out and did comedy every night because I think I learned a lot more from doing um, open mics than anything just got to think about what you want and then set your compass in that direction or whatever, type it in in your, uh, your map quest. I mean, I never, I've ne I don't have to like motivate myself because this is just what I want to do. So if you want, like, if you want something bad enough, you want to get better at it. And I know what I have to do to get better at it. So it's just a matter of time. It's weird though, like we live together and since he's always there when he's around, I'm always really scared to use the toilet. Like I always have to turn the faucet on so my shit doesn't get stuck in the sink. <laughs> also, if you wanna if you wanna be, go far, don't have a social life because I don't, uh, which is fine because I don't want to hang out with anybody anyways. So, stop caring about your friends and then you'll become successful. <laughs> the only friends I have are the people who want to do the same things I want to do, which is also a, a good thing to do is create this environment where you're only around people who want the same things you do, but like people who aren't gonna stab you in the back and to cross your name off the open mic list even though you signed up an hour before she did. Just saying. Never happened to me. But well, when you're in a mature, you know, relationship such as I, uh, you begin to accept things from one another. Like, I know I expect my boyfriend to be there for me emotionally and support me and he expects me to give him a on a regular basis. Like, more than on his birthday or when there's a death in the family. That's a lot. The only thing I like more uh, than giving head is not giving head. That is the shit. <laughs> not giving head. My boyfriend hates, he doesn't like when he hears me say things like this because he says it makes him think, like, I think it's a chore. You know, which is true. But I don't know why that has to have such a negative connotation to it. You know what I mean? Like, chores are things that need to get done. Like, I don't 